Thousands of years have passed since a once thriving human civilization perished in the dust. Time goes by, passing their existence in fear of the ever-present shadow of cybergenetic warfare, the few remaining human beings struggle to regain the power that they have lost. With a desolate future, the people look to their past for a glint of hope. Excavations at an ancient tower have provided the people with a deadly arsenal now turned upon their foes. This power has created strife amongst surrounding nations, all struggling against each other and the evil forces of the Dark Dragon. Fate of the world rests on the wings of an armored blue dragon. Commence final program sequence. The scene opens in a desert. Dust tornadoes. A lot of rocks. Very desolate landscape. We have three figures. Uh, humans on bipedal animals. Riding through a canyon. Something flies by overhead. It is a ship. A battleship. Is it one of ours? But why here? They ask. Oh, something's coming. Ooh. Some kind of armored scorpion has presumably killed one of the humans, and it is racing forward. One of the humans gives chase, but uh, it's too fast. Can't get it with the crossbow. Oh, and here's another one. Ah, this one's going in for the kill. Ooh, direct hit. The crossbow worked on that one. The human rounds the corner and finds some kind of ancient ruins ahead of him with a cave. He enters cautiously. Footsteps echoing through the cavern. What awaits ahead of him? There are pictures on the walls, but they're so eroded and faded, you can't really see what they are. The hallway opens into a, a hangar bay. There are ships or weapons hanging on the walls. The floor starts to rise. Bringing him to, oh, another level. The armored scorpion has been killed by something and laser beams fall from the sky. Oh no. It's some kind of an automated defense bot. The human runs for safety. But the security bot gives chase. Ooh, and the ceiling has caved in. There's nowhere to go. The crossbow is useless. Ground shakes. Ooh. And, of course, the ceiling collapses on the security robot as a dragon flies in from the sky. More lasers. Ooh, and a bigger dragon gives chase. The human is completely speechless, dropping his crossbow and himself to the ground. Oh, and everything is burning up. The human awakens outside. Somehow he survived. The dragons are still flying around. They're 
shooting lasers. Ooh, very, very powerful ones. Oh, there is a human riding the dragon, and he has just been shot. Oh dear. He's not looking too good. He flies down to where the first human is still standing on a cliff. Avenge me! They briefly make contact. Oh, and the wormhole opens between them. A psychic connection. Don't let him go back to the tower. My dragon knows the way. Please. Then he falls to the ground, dead. The dragon roars in sorrow. But now it is time for our hero to take up the reins. He eyes the dragon warily. But it seems they are compatible with each other. And away they fly in pursuit of the larger dragon. Over the barren landscapes. into the horizon. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the beginning of a new series. Uh, although I don't think it's going to be a very long series, this is Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, there it is for the Sega Saturn, which I am playing on a Sega Saturn. Now, I don't know anything about this game. Uh, you know about as much as I do if this is the first time you've ever seen it. I have played Panzer Dragoon Saga, the third game in the franchise, but the first two? Never, never touched them at all. So this is going to be a completely new experience for me, and let's just dive right in. We've seen a bit of backstory, we kind of know what's going on, we're riding dragons. Let's go. Uh, normal game? Easy game? Hard game? Uh, hmm, okay, I I'm gonna go normal, see how this goes. Unit 1, act. oh no, we saw this, we don't need to watch it again. Episode 1. And there I am! Ooh, and we've got ruins, and oh, and I'm in control. Okay, what do I do? I shoot, I shoot. Uh, oh, and I'm getting hit. What do all the buttons do? Do they all shoot? Uh, yeah, all buttons shoot. Can I lock on? Oh, I can. Alright, so this is kind of like Star Fox, I'm seeing. Oh, we can lock on, we can lock on to multiple, and fire! Nice. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this, I'm getting the hang of this. Oh boy. Just blast him, there we go. Now, one thing I can say is that this definitely looks a lot like a couple areas in Panzer Dragoon Saga. I guess it makes sense if they're from the same series. I always liked these ruined areas in the uh, in the wetlands over the water. It's a very ooh, I got hit. 
It's a very nice aesthetic. Let's shoot these jellyfish out of the sky and go through this tunnel. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. Okay, so far this isn't so bad. Oh boy. The camera is definitely not as smooth as Star Fox 64. Although I think this game is a little older. So I guess we can forgive it. Uh, excuse you. Yeah, get out of here. Where am I? We're not- whoa! Incoming enemy from the rear! Now, how about you stop that? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where am I going, actually? How does this dragon know which twists and turns to take? Surely this is not the most direct route to the tower. Uh, can I shoot this thing, please? Maybe I can. Oh, there's something big ahead of us. What is that? What is that? Oh, uh, blast it. Oh, it's a flower. A Venus dragon trap. Oh, dear. Yeah, I, I kind of flew into that one. Oh, nice. Some kind of temple up ahead. That does look pretty cool. Gotta admit. Am I going inside? Oh, I bet I'm going inside. Yeah, there we go. There's an open door. I've got my lasers charged and ready to go. Oh, nice. Kinda like the water temple. Oh dear, I got hit. I mean, I'm not doing great. Only at about half health. Uh, this is a wall. Oh, um, um, stop that. What is bombarding the temple? That was a national historic site. You're ruining it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to shoot at. I really appreciate being able to lock onto multiple targets. That is huge, actually. Um, ah, uh, no, no, no. Oh, I can, I can shoot your little wingmen, though. Ah, they're all gone. Can I shoot your wings themselves? That is the question. Um, how about you let me shoot? No, where are you going, dragon? Okay, can I just, like, rock it a little bit? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I got hit, though. Um, um, um. Is it going down? Can I, like, oh, I can change the camera angle. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, look at this. I have, like, full 3D control of the camera. Oh, that is cool. That's really cool. Okay, well, I figured it out. Um, hey, don't you run away from me. I have to shoot you down still. Um, where am I going? I am all over the place. I am at the mercy of wherever this dragon feels like taking me. Okay. Locking onto things seems to just uh, hit the armored roof on top of this ship, so let's just blast it with lasers, maybe. Oh dear. Uh, can I can I dodge those? Do I have any sort of control? Oh, I, I guess I'm supposed to shoot them, maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I am actually not doing good. I am, like, dying. But at least you don't seem to be shooting at me anymore. You ran out of chunks of masonry to uh, throw my way. Oh, we're getting close, but I think I'm only one shot away. Ah, I keep moving the controller in my hands as if I can use a motion control aiming. This is not Star Fox Zero. I can't, I can't do that. Okay. Almost there. Can I just shoot it the rest of the way? This is faster. This is faster. Yeah, get out of here. And into the water it goes. Well, Blue Dragon, we barely made it, but we got there. 
What a bunch of jerks, you know? Uh, episode 1 completed. Shot down 91.4%. I got a credit! And I missed 7 enemies. Oh no. Oh, that was cool though. I like this. Transmission from the patrol ship, sir. The target has been located in sector number 12. To all ships, prepare for battle. Inform ground troops to position wire barricade. Yes, sir. We must capture that dragon at all costs. Uh-huh, and they are serious. Whatever that ship is, it looks big and scary. Episode 2. Uh, where are we? We are over the desert. Oh, and we are shooting behind us. What is that? No, no. Not interested, sir. Stop that. How about you? Don't, yeah. Into little meaty pieces all over the place. Are there more enemies? Oh, you'd better believe there are more enemies. Get out of here. Uh, I'm not I'm not letting you get away from me that easy. Oh, what? Something's hitting me. Okay, so the camera isn't quite fully 3D. You have a certain number of, like... Oh dear, stop that. Predetermined camera angles that you can use. Oh, but I do have free movement here. Sort of. Okay, blasting enemies, we're going into a cave. I am already below half health. Um... Yeah. This one is going a lot uh, less good. Stop that. No, 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 no. No. Are there... Oh, there, there's one. Hey, where, where'd you go? Stop that. Ah! Oh no, oh no, ah, this is not good. No, 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 fine. You can jump at me if I can shoot you, that's fine. Ah, get out of here, you little things. I do not want to deal with you. They're everywhere, this place is infested. Well, good thing I'm here to deal with it, I suppose. But, uh, I would like health. Is is there a way to get extra health in this game? Do I heal naturally over time? I'll have to pay attention to that. Or do I, like, get health if I hit multiple enemies? That does not appear to be the case. Maybe I just have to be good, and I'm, like, not... Oh, no. Stop! Stop jumping into me. No. Oh, wow. They don't miss, huh? It's a little bit tricky to see where the enemies are with this uh, very granular Sega Saturn graphics. Well, I survived. Uh, oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Oh, another one of these jokers, huh? Okay, where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're chasing after me, huh? Here, I can blow up all your armor. And... Can I defend myself somehow? Is there like a defense button? I'm kind of just getting blasted by whatever this thing throws at me. And I don't think I can shoot it down. I guess I can just sort of keep moving, but... Okay, listen here, sandworm. Uh, is this doing... Is this doing any good? Oh, there's two of you. Hmm. Stop. Oh, oh, did I die? No! Ugh, oh, game over. Huh. Alright, uh, yes, I will continue. Oh, still from episode two. Fascinating. So I have to do the whole thing over, I see. Yeah, 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 okay. There's gotta be something that I can do to, like, dodge enemy attacks. There's gotta be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're in pieces all over the place. Uh, there's enemies all over the place. 
So I guess the only time I actually have any kind of movement is if I'm facing forward? Because if I face to the side, yeah, I'm locked into position. Okay, I'm learning a little bit as we go. I'm definitely doing better. Let's get as many of these as I can in each hit. Alright, back into the cave. This time I'm at full health instead of half dead. Uh, how many of these can I hit? Yeah, take care of those. And then we, like, stop here for some reason. Look, ah, no, that one got me. Oh, wow, yeah, that is, uh... So, how do I... Mmm, I don't like this. So, are they just not able to be hit from where I was? The... Your target doesn't quite go all the way around. Like, you can't really hit the bottom corners of the screen. So these little ground enemies, uh, they can hide from you. Okay, get, get out of here. I'm just gonna... Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Does the B button do any anything different? I could really afford a barrel roll or something. No. That's the same. How about the C button? Anything different? No, that is also just, uh... Just shoot stuff. Well, that's pretty satisfying to do, though. Uh, is the L button? Oh yeah, L, L and R are just the uh, ah, the cameras. Stop that. Get. So I guess you kind of just have to scan the area all the time and just shoot whenever you lock onto stuff. You don't really have time to wait. Okay, so I'm back here. Oh, and we've got... Well, that was a lot, actually. Um... Okay, so if we go all the way behind... Yeah, so there's no good way to dodge that. What is this? Am I doing something wrong? Okay, oh boy. Now listen here, sandworms. I don't have time to deal with you. I am on a mission. I have to chase down another dragon. What am I doing messing around with you? Oh, did I get one? Did I get them both? No, they're behind me. Ah, you've gotta you've gotta hit the undersides, I think. Maybe? Okay, let's, uh, oh, there goes one of them. Oh, a bunch of pieces all over the place. This is graphic. Oh, they are not happy. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, and there it goes. Is that all of them? Did I do it? Did I make it? Oh no, a health bar. No, stop, stop that. No, ah. Oh, that's a dragon, maybe. Oh boy. Mm. My initial reaction was to double tap R and do a barrel roll. It doesn't work. Well, luckily your attacks are a lot less accurate than mine. Oh boy, down there, yep. Mm, dog fighting against another dragon. Hey, where are you? Stop. Hey, come on, camera. You can do better than that. Um. Where are you? Where are you? Stop. Stop running away from me. Alright, these tornadoes are annoying, but they don't seem to do anything, so I guess it's not that bad. 
Let's just lock onto you as much as I possibly can. And one more. One more. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, you take that. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Um. Hello, sir. And he's off. Ungrateful. I won fair and square. 73%. Okay. All right, well, uh, that is the end of episode two. Okay. So I think, uh, can I, can I pause this before we get into episode three? How do I pause? There we go. Okay. I've been recording quite long enough, I think. So, um, I'm gonna end this first episode of Panzer Dragoon right here. Uh, those were all my initial first impressions of this game. Anything that came to mind, I blurted it out, out loud. So I hope you could make some sense of that, <laughs> as well as what was happening on screen. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I will be completing this game. So uh, be sure to join me again next time uh, for another exciting episode of this. Till then. Ta-ta!